Hey everyone, so here on the screen I've pulled up 1 Thessalonians 4.15 and 1 Corinthians 15.23, where what I want to point out first is that the context of each in his own order in his presence is the same context here, into the presence of the Lord. The parousia of the Lord is his actually being personally present in the earth when he comes again, hence since the Lord will descend from heaven in his presence. So each in his own order is obviously seen where Paul is speaking of those here who rise first, which is an order prior to the thereupon. And a lot of people read these verses and they think that we, the living, are being at the like same time robbed with these who rise first, and then after they rise, these, and then we, the living, are all being robbed together. But that's not what this is communicating. And this can be also proven out in the Greek uh, parsing, which uh, are seen in case, case assignments. So, Understand, we the living here are in the nominative case. Where I'm looking for here. We the living is in the nominative, which you see is the case of designation, functions like our subjective case. So the subject of we the living is nominative, where then them here is in the dative case. And dative is the case of reception. And you can verify this parsing at like here, like at a Bible hub. You can open up the verse in interlinear view. And you look here, you can hover over this parsing key and it tells you nominative, living, the living. And then when you come down here with them, Third person, personal, possessive pronoun, dative. So, the them are, are receiving the we. Where the them are those who rise first into the clouds, according to the first order. And then the we, the living, will be received when they're robbed to be with them who came first, where again, the dative possessive pronoun shows that they're not being together with the we, the living, to be all together robbed. Because again, the dative case is frequently used when someone is giving or transmitting something to someone. So when we back up again to 1 Thessalonians 4.15, we read, For this we say to you by a word of the Lord, that we the living, who are being all around left over into the presence of the Lord, hence each in his own order, in his presence, will not come, yea, not come prior to those being made to slumber in Christ, so when the Lord descends from heaven, those who are made to slumber, who will rise first, are received first into the wedding feasts, where thereupon, again, we the living who are the same here, we at the like same time, not we and them, we the living at the like same time, left over, will be robbed together. And then with this added here, together, you could say to be with them in the clouds, who they came into the clouds already prior. Because it says here, do not come prior. So we the living do not come prior to those who are first. This is how we have to read these verses. Because the common interpretation and understanding of these verses is not considering the case assignments of the Greek words. And as I've stated many times in other videos, 
if you just search the word rise and then angel or angels, you find this verse in Mark 12, 25, where when, as it were, they rise out of the dyed ones, those made to slumber, who rise first, they neither marry or are they given in marriage, but they are as angels in the heaven, which is the same context of Luke chapter 20, verse 36. As sons of the resurrection, they are sons of God, equal to angels. So the rise first concept, and then the thereupon we the living, is also seen in John chapter 5. Verse 29 is the resurrection, okay? Those having done the good will go out into resurrection of life, but those practicing the malicious into resurrection of judgment, where those back here who step further have Eonian life. So we could say these rise first. They do not come into judgment, but they have stepped further out of death into life. And notice here where it says, amen, amen, I say to you, the hour comes when the died ones hear the voice of the Son of God. And those hearing will live according to the stepped further. But when we come down here, according to the authority to do judgment here, Since he is the son of the human, we're back here, it's the son of God, as themselves being sons of God, equal to angels. So again, rise first, thereupon, we the living, according to orders of resurrection, seen again in these verses of John chapter 5, verses 24 through 29. And in the same context of each in his own order are the watch time orders here, Mark 13, 35, where eventide is the first watch time, disappeared in Luke 12, 38, because they come into the wedding feasts first. And then midnight is the next opportunity to come into the wedding feasts which is the thereupon here. And this word is found in the parable of the ten virgins. From encounter, Matthew 25, 6. From encounter, 1 Thessalonians 4, 17. First watch time, thereupon, midnight. Middle of the night, according to them coming into the wedding feasts here. At midnight. So there's a a span of time between the rise first and the thereupon. Thereupon here is not giving how long, but if you look at other occurrences of thereupon, many years can actually transition. In Galatians 1.8, we read thereupon after three years. Galatians 2.1, thereupon after 14 years. So thereupon can involve years. Where on a side note, I believe, I think that the years from the rise first of the first watch time to the thereupon encounter at midnight is the 2300 days of Daniel 814. The transgression that leads to the turning aside of a continual offering of 2,300 days of the justified holy are those, according to the all-convocation, when they come into the wedding at midnight. This is the same context of Hebrews 12, 22. But when we come into the wedding, we're angels. First order, even tied. Second order, midnight, where the justified again in Daniel eight fourteen is the justified spirits of those accordingly accomplished, where we're the angels here. This is midnight right here, for what it's worth. 